Hi there, my name is Corey Mosman, and I'll be teaching the boyer morris string search algorithm. The boyer morris string search algorithm searches for a pattern of characters within a larger text of characters, returning every location where that pattern begins. You'll typically see this algorithm within web searches and security applications. You might see this when you're searching for a string within Microsoft Word or using Google's search engine. As a security approach, you may be checking for the pattern of desired characters or maybe you want to disable a pattern of characters from being entered by a user. This could be when entering account information and making sure that your username is not contained within your password. A few differences between boyer morris search algorithm and other naive algorithms is that it begins by checking the pattern of string of characters from the last character, not the beginning, and steps character by character backwards toward the beginning of the pattern. With the Boyer-Morris search algorithm, there are two basic approaches. The first of these is called the bad character approach. With this example, we have a pattern string and we have a text string. Firstly, we will run pre-processing on this pattern string to find the last occurrence of each of the characters. Next, we will place the pattern at indices zero, starting with index zero of text to the left-hand side. Remember that with the Boyer-Morris search algorithm, we always start from the right-hand side and work our way character by character to the left. Here, we will start with character A in text and match it with character B in the pattern. We know that this does not match. This is called a mismatch or a bad character in red. We call this B a bad character. Now, how can we make that bad character into a match to match the A within text? We will move the pattern one character to the right. We will, in other words, we will start moving the starting index of pattern one to the right here. This will cause A to be a match with A here. Next, we will check it again from the right-hand side. B matches to B, A matches to A, but A does not match to C. C is now a bad character. Well, we will move the starting index of pattern again until it does become a match. Here, A will now match A by moving the starting index of pattern one to the right again. We will check from the right. A does not match B, so let's move the starting index of pattern over again. A matches with A. Here, we are going to be checking to see if D matches with B. The problem here is we know that D, using this pre-processing step, does not, is, is not within the pattern at all. So we will move the starting index of pattern instead of checking each of these. We will move it the length of the pattern here. We will move the starting index over. And we will do the same step here, checking A with B. That is a mismatch. So we will move the starting index over until it does become a match, A to A here. We will start from the right side, B matches, A matches, C matches, the whole string matches, the whole pattern matches. Here we would return this starting index within text. And we would say that that pattern exists in text at that index. Note that we do not stop the algorithm here. We continue until we reach the end of the text string because it is possible that the pattern might exist within the text multiple times. The second of these approaches is called the good suffix approach. In this example, we have tables where i is the index, t is the text string, and p is the pattern string. Initially, we place the pattern string index 0 with the text index 0 on the left side. We always start by, by uh, comparing the right-hand side, b with b, that's a match. A with A, that's a match. A does not match with B. This makes this a mismatch. B is a bad character here. Like we did with the bad character approach, we would have meant to move A over one to match with A, but we're not going to do that with the good suffix approach. We're going to use the suffix, which is these two matched characters, and check them again. Instead of how we matched B to B here, we're going to match B to B here. That is a match. Okay, now we'll move A matches to A here. So these two suffix characters that we did match prior, we will check again, starting at that index where we had the mismatch, where we had the bad character. B matches to B, A matches to A. Well, then we can move those two characters, this substring of characters, over until it matches the characters that we had matches for earlier. Down here, B matches to B, A matches to A, and that mismatch character A. In this example, we have, again from the right, B matches to B, A matches to A, B matches to B. So all B, A, B characters match and are part of the good suffix. 
Now we will check A does not match with B. B is a bad character, this is a mismatch. We will start checking from the good suffix, again, continuing on through the pattern. B matches with B, A matches with A, but now we've got a problem. B has nothing to match to, there is no index negative one. So we will take the existing good characters, part of the good suffix of characters that we had matched priorly, and make that the starting index of the pattern here. A good rule of thumb for the Boyer-Morris search algorithm is to use both approaches moderately in order to find the best runtime. In the best case scenario, the Boyer-Morris search algorithm would have a pattern with characters that do not duplicate and are all distinct. For example, A, B, C, D, E, and a text string that includes characters that do not duplicate and are distinct. Examples for A through Z of the alphabet. In that example, we would find that the length of the text divided by the length of the pattern would be the runtime, knowing that you would have to check each of those characters once until you found characters that did not exist within the pattern. In the worst case scenario, you could find that the pattern string has characters that are all duplicates of one another. For example, A, 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 A. And the text string included characters that are also all duplicates of one another. For example, A, 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 and so on. In that example, we would be checking every index of text to every index of pattern until the uh, index of the text size minus the pattern size. This is extremely close to a naive algorithm and almost defeats the purpose of using a Boyer-Morris search algorithm. I wanted to thank you all for listening to me today. Here are a few of my references.